Welcome to World IBD Day being celebrated on 19th of May every year. I am Dr. Hariharan, consultant gastroenterologist, Apollo Hospital, Greens Road, Chennai. I am here to briefly introduce you to inflammatory bowel disease. As you know, inflammatory bowel disease is a inflammation of the intestines which we do not know the cause. Inflammatory bowel disease involves inflammation of the intestine uh, including the small intestine and the large intestine. There are two main varieties which one may be called the ulcerative colitis which predominantly involves the large intestine and the other one is called Crohn's disease which may involve the small intestine and the large intestine as well as other parts of the GI tract which is quite rare. People do come and ask me why do I have inflammatory bowel disease. It can happen to anyone, to you, to, to it can happen to anyone including in friends, family but there are plenty of investigation, I mean plenty of uh, work is going on to find out the etiology of uh, the inflammatory bowel disease. It is suspected that there are some hereditary factors and there are other environmental factors which can lead to inflammatory bowel disease but as of now we don't know clearly what causes the inflammatory bowel disease. The main reason why we have we think inflammatory bowel disease is caused is due to some hereditary factors like genetic factors as well as our own body immune system fighting against the lining of the small intestine. When we want to discuss as to what may be the signs and symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease, the main symptoms are particularly with ulcerative colitis, one has a large quantity of altered bowel habits along with bleeding through the rectum. People also have symptoms of a significant weight loss, severe abdominal pain. Some people with intestinal obstruction can end up in vomiting and fever. There are different varieties of uh, symptoms which there are uh, the symptomatology is varied depending upon which part of the intestine gets involved probably if it's a small intestine or the large intestine. The other common question that I am often asked is can inflammatory bowel disease be cured? The inflammatory bowel disease as of now is a chronic disease with a prolonged duration of symptoms and it requires a long term treatment of the disease. As of now it is possible to keep the symptoms under control with medications. It is not possible to cure the disease completely but there are instances where the disease itself burns itself out and the patient can be seen to be clear of symptoms during their disease course. There are instances, some special cases particularly with ulcerative colitis, one may take that the disease can be cured when they undergo surgery and get their colon removed. The can a lady conceive when she has got inflammatory bowel disease? Yes, if her disease is completely quiescent, then she can conceive and have a healthy baby. There are drugs which are quite safe, which can be used during the time of pregnancy and they have to be under constant follow-up with their gastroenterologist who has got a special interest in IBD, particularly to watch out for any flare-ups, particularly towards the end of the pregnancy. How long will an IBD last? The disease may have multiple flares or a prolonged remission and it is impossible to say how long the disease will last. There are people who have one attack of a severe flare-up just in the beginning and after which the disease becomes completely quiescent. There are people who have multiple flares with disease going up and down or there are people who start off with a very mild disease go on to develop a severe disease later in life. The uh, indications inflammatory bowel disease basically is a medical disorder but there are special indications where surgery may be indicated in inflammatory bowel disease particularly when there are significant serious complications like excessive bleeding or when there is intestinal blocks then one may need to undergo surgery for inflammatory bowel disease. Apart from this, prolonged duration of inflammatory disease, particularly with the colon, increases the risk of having malignancy in the colon and they may have to be surveyed 
from time to time. Surgery may be indicated in cases of colonic inflammatory bowel disease if they are developing malignancy. If you need to know more about inflammatory bowel disease, please speak to your gastroenterologist and learn about how to live with the inflammatory bowel disease regarding the medical treatment and as well as how to carry out a healthy life inflammatory bowel disease with the varied treatments currently available. With current available treatments which are multiple and varied, one with inflammatory bowel disease can lead a long and a healthy life. Please talk to your gastroenterologist regarding the multiple treatment that is available if you have inflammatory bowel disease and also talk to him about your diet, healthy lifestyle and if you are a woman about conceiving during uh, for pregnancy as well if you are a smoker please quit smoking and reduce the consumption of alcohol. Fantastic treatments and multiple monoclonal available bodies available as of today it is possible to treat inflammatory bowel disease to the greatest satisfaction and can lead a long and a healthy life with least symptoms and in complete remission. Follow a healthy lifestyle and see your friendly gastroenterologist for further management of your inflammatory bowel disease. Thank you.